so y'all good morning how are you this is shiny middleton bringing you another beautiful video guys i'm putting my best foot forward as we know going into the new year it's all about hard work and effort and consistency so i'm going to bring to you guys everything that i got from amazon because you're going to see a full glow up but right now we're going to focus on yoga they offer it at viscaya this is why i'm back because actually the last time we were here i didn't like how we were treated um but nonetheless we got to get a beautiful beautiful landscape um footage and then i got the most beautiful pictures for my birthday so he God told me what to do I did it I follow through and now I'm here so uh, I'm here again because they offered free yoga along with the farmers market so hopefully we can get some healthy food in our systems in this video as well but I want you to stay tuned for the glow up because I'm going to do an Amazon uh, like what I got from Amazon and I'm gonna put it together with this boutique fashion and uh, and just keep watching. I love you guys, we gotta get in here, I gotta go to the bathroom, all that good stuff. P. So go ahead and flex your feet. Before we do that, we're gonna find our Ujjayi breathing. So this is where we switch into nasal breathing. Sit up nice and tall, arms are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, chest is lifting up towards the sky. Take a breath into the nose. Take a breath out of the nose. This time, inhale. Lift the spine, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale down, all the way back out. So this is your breath for the rest of the class. Smooth breaths in and out of the nasal passage. All right, we'll roll into our sun salutations. Bring your hands to the sides of your mat. Good. Inhale, you'll lift your chest up high. Exhale, reach forward, pike stretch, lengthen the body, stretch forward. Good. Inhale, rise up, palms will touch at the top, all the way up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, hands curl into your heart center. You might feel a little burn sensation here in the back. Pause. Take a wide breath into your back space. Exhale, looking downwards, keeping your feet flexed. Good. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way back up. Lengthen up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows behind you. Prayer to your back. All right. Keeping your feet flexed. I know it's not an easy position to stay in. Can you inhale and open your elbows more? Exhale, don't lose the height of your seat. Good. Inhale, stretch and reach. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. And then go ahead and sweep the hands all the way behind you. We'll take a shoulder stretch. Bending deeply into both elbows, letting the shoulders roll forward and swaying left and right. So if you don't feel much here, walk your hands further away from you. Right? Fingertips are facing forward. It's a little awkward. Yeah. Chest is collapsing into center. Yes, swaying left and right. Taking a breath in. Breath out. All right, we go right from here into lifting the heart. So like you're pushing off from your hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, pike stretch, reach forward, lengthen through the front. Inhale, we rise all the way up. Exhale, fold, fold hands into heart center, curling chin to chest. Take a full breath in here. Long breath out. Inhale, arms shoot straight up to the sky, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows, prayer behind you. Full breath in, can you sit up really tall and flex the feet? Long breath out. Good, inhale, stretch and reach, lengthen. Exhale, hands swoop all the way back down to the mat. This time you come into fish pose. So you come onto your elbows. Yeah, so watch how they're leaning on their elbows. Good. You point your toes down towards the grass and then start to push your heart and lift your chest up towards the sky and then safely drop your eyes all the way to the back of your mat. So you're upside down here. Yes, a lot of length to the front of the throat and the neck. And then we'll switch the breath, take a breath in. Stretch the tongue out, let it go. Good, one more for a good stretch, inhale. Flush it out. Good. Bring the chin and the head back to center. Come back to your hands. Give a little sway action left and right. All right. Final round to salute this cloudy day. Inhale. Lift your chest. Exhale. Pike stretch. Reach forward all the way to the front. Inhale. Scoops your arms all the way up to the sky. Rise up. 
Exhale, forward fold, hands into your heart center, hold, chin to chest. Take a round of breath in and breath out. Good. Inhale, stretch and length and reach back up. Exhale, bend the elbows prior to the back. Yeah, if you're lost, look at our two guides right here. <laughs> okay, take a full breath in as you lift through the spine. Full breath out. And inhale, stretch and lengthen upwards. Exhale, bring the hands all the way to the back. This time we're first tabletop position. So we're ready. Okay. Bring your hands behind you. Exhale. All right, go ahead and flip your feet under, so, sorry, flip your toes under so the ball mounts are on the mat. And then lift your knees. We're just gonna float the tabletop off of the mat. This is our first real activation of the morning. So lifting the knees, hovering over your mat, looking towards both hands, taking a full inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, push it back and dance it out. Start to sway those hips, bend the knees left to right, little march in the back of the back. Roll through the arches of the feet. And give each calf a stretch. Shake the head yes and no, all the way around. And get familiar with the down duck shape. We're gonna be coming back to this a lot. This is our home base. As you inhale, lengthen the spine, so push into your mat, lift your hips. As you exhale, bring the ribcage a little closer to your thigh bone. See what happens in the stretch of your legs. One more breath in. Breath out. Good. Super bend the knees and start to walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. You'll meet yourself in a nice rag doll sway. So you're in the back of your mat. Go ahead and walk to the back. Make sure you're in the back. Yes, that's it. Interlace at your elbows or maybe swim the arms behind you. Interlace at the fingertips. My basket weave or prayer hand. And we'll start to sway your upper body right and left. Taking a breath in, breath out. I don't think you'll have enough space there. I'm going to go over there. Good. Head is heavy. My knees are nice and buoyant and soft. And then maybe start to straighten them out a little bit. Feeling that stretch through the hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Coming back to center, bend the knees, take a slow body roll all the way up through each piece of your spine. You'll come to really strong legs. All right, bow, lift to chest, inhale, rise up. Create some energy between the palms. I want everyone to start rubbing your palms together. Rub them really hard together. Create some warmth and some friction. Breath in. Exhale, bring those over your eyes. Hmm. Take a full inhale to your body. Exhale, bring it onto your chest, feeling your heart. Take a breath in. Breath out. Good. Inhale, we'll take our first vinyasa. Stretch and lengthen the arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Dive over your legs, bend your knees. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Look forward, crawl your way out to a plank pose. Yes, high plank pose. Good. Exhale, you'll move into a low plank, bending into 90 degrees of the elbows. Inhale, take an upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Long breath out. Good. We'll take that again. Inhale, high plank pose. Actually, you know what? High plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your mat. Let's take a softer version. Airplane pose. Lift your arms and legs off of the mat. So stretch and lengthen. Good. Right. Bringing everything up towards the sky. Activating the entire back of your body. Beautiful. Yeah, stay looking forward, right? It's only on your mat, not anyone else's. Lift up one more breath. Exhale, lower it down. Good. Go ahead and push yourself back to a child's pose. I got excited there. All right, we'll take the vinyasa to the side. Open your knees nice and wide. Ground your hips. Start to breathe through 
opening the rib cage again. Let's take our arms all the way over to the right. All right, we might be getting a little dirty this morning, no big deal. Stretching the left side of your body. Take a few breaths here. All right, webbing your way all the way to the left. Stretching out the right side of the body. Tabletop. Exhale, push it back. Downward facing dog. Lift those hips. Find your V shape. Okay, now that we're warm, really find that strong downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, go ahead and look forward. Jump, hop, or step your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up, palms up to the top. Exhale, let's take a vinyasa forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. So high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. I'm speaking quickly on purpose. Slow it down. And modify. You can skip the push up. You can add push ups. It's your own choreography in your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Hips are lifting up nice and high. Inhale. Exhale. Camera. Good. Our right leg all the way up towards the sky. Bend the knee and open your hip. Start lubricating the right hip joint, the ball, the socket connection. You can open and close. Keeping your arms nice and strong is going to give you more power through your legs. And then stepping your right foot forward, look forward, right foot to the mat, left knee down to the mat. Runner's lunge, Anjaniyasana, good. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, swing the arms to the back, interlace, basket weave or prayer, good. Start to roll the shoulders open as the chest rises up. Good. And then slowly bring your eyes up towards the sky. Yes. Bend a little bit more through that front knee, see how it feels. Inhale. Exhale, release the arms, reach all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, my favorite water wheel twist over towards the right, rinsing out the spinal column. Okay. Now notice if when you twist it, you lost the stability of the front foot. So keep the right knee rather bent. Good. Keep rotating. I know, when well, we chose the concrete instead of the grass today. <laughs> it's on you guys. Take a breath in. Breath out. Good. Inhale, reach those arms, come all the way back up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat to frame the front foot. Kick it back, three-legged down dog. Right leg floats up, see what happens. Lengthen. Good. Exhale, bring the right, right foot back down. Good, switching side. Inhale, left leg floats up. Get that breath in, it's gonna help. Bend the knee, open the hip. Start making circles. Yes. Circles with the hip, side to side, forward back. If at any point this is bothering your wrists, you can modify, come onto your elbows, or just come into tabletop. All right, stretch that left leg all the way up towards the sky, three-legged down dog. Look forward and step your left foot to the front of the mat. Bring your right knee down, Anjaniyasana. Right, rise up, inhale. Exhale, swing the arms to the back, interlace. You could always just grab onto your shirt if you're not there. And then start to puff the chest all the way up towards the sky, right? First, it is an opening of the upper back and chest. Then it becomes a back bend if you're really flexible, right? Slowly, eyes are lifting up, breathing, Aramis breathing. Inhale, exhale, good. Release the arms, inhale, stretch and reach up towards the sky. Exhale, spinal twist to your left, keeping your arms in the T. Yeah, water wheel twist to the left. Good, you have three breaths there to take yourself to the deepest points of your twist. Taking your eyes over to the left hand. Inhale, go ahead and reach the arms all the way back up. 
Uh, exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Push it back, three-legged down dog, left leg lifts. Give it a big kick up towards the sky. Good, and then left foot back down. All right, inhale, exhale. Look forward, jump, hop, or step to the top of the mat. Take your time, hands and feet together. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, come all the way up to standing. Inhale, lengthen. Stretch up, reach up even lower. Exhale, fold it back down. All right, coming into that flow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take it back. High, low plank. You can always skip it. We meet in downward facing dog. Really good alignment here in this corner. Amazing. You guys are doing great. Lift those hips. Take it back. Down dog. Uh, if you don't know it, make it up. All good. It's just yoga. You don't need to take it so serious. Breath in. Breath out. All right, right leg floats up. Three legged down dog. Look forward, step the right foot forward into your warrior one. Rise up, inhale. Exhale, you'll open it up, warrior two. Wide through the chest, long through the arms. Flip reverse the front palm, reach it back, peaceful warrior. So you're arcing your right arm up towards the sky. Taking a look at what's up there, or maybe up to the top hand as you bend deeper into the right knee, inhale. Good. Exhale, side angle pose. Bring the right elbow down towards the right thigh bone and lift the left arm up and overhead. Yeah, the class is going to get just a little more challenging for the next minute. All right, stretching long through the left side of your body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, inhale, go ahead and windmill your way all the way back up to your warrior two. And then let's close out to a five-pointed star. So everyone over to the left side of their back, looking over towards the left. Big five-pointed star, feet are parallel. I want you to inhale and open your starfish really wide. And then exhale, swim the arms behind you, interlace at your fingertips. Inhale, pump the chest up. Exhale, not losing that leg, leading from the heart center lower all the way down into your wide-legged fold. We are now upside down. Yeah, a little love tap on the neighbor, no big deal. Good. And then rather than just hanging out here, make it active, right? So if you need to micro bend the knees, micro bend the knees. Notice if your weight is in the heels, move it closer to the ball mounts. And then lastly, if you feel to move a little bit side to side, find a little sway. Right? Bend one knee, bend the other. Squeeze the palms together even more. Open the chest even more. Breathing in. Breathing out. One last inhale. Exhale, you can go ahead and release those arms all the way down to the ground. And we'll all take a flat back together. Inhale, halfway lift. You can bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Good. You'll roll your body up all the way back up to the top. Then inhale, reach your arms up. Good. Exhale, we'll find warrior two towards the back of your mat. Open your left arm away from you. Good. Left toes out, right toes in. Warrior two. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. We're going to go into inhale, lifting the left, uh, sorry, straightening the left leg, reaching both arms up. Let's go ahead and look at Elise and Alex. Exhale, bend deep into your warrior two again. Yeah, three of these, pump it out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, lower it back down. Flip reverse the front palm, peaceful warrior on this side. Inhale just for a moment, open up the chest space. Exhale, you're gonna cartwheel your hands down to the back of your mat and find your plank pose. Yes, vinyasa, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Ah, exhale, downward facing dog. Feel that energy and electricity running through the body. I'm going to finish on that left side and then we will come to chill. So refuel, get the breath in, breath out. Good. 
Left leg floats up, three-legged down dog. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Look forward. Step the left foot forward. Find your warrior one. Yeah, if you're lost, it's all good. I got you guys. Warrior one, rise up. My shoulders are square. Back heel bone is down. Inhale, reach up a little higher. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Good. So the other way, opening up towards the right. That's it, good. Flip reverse the front palm, open up, peaceful warrior. This time you're really stretching the left side. Bend deeper into the left knee. Lift from the heart center, inhale. Exhale, side angle pose, left elbow comes all the way down to the left thigh, right arm reaches up and over. Yeah. Stretching that right arm away from you, inhale, exhale, all right. Windmill your way back up to your warrior two. Same sequence here, this time facing over. Actually, same side, yeah. Big, wide, five-pointed start. Big inhale. Exhale, go ahead and dive over your legs into your, into your wide-legged forward fold. Take a wide-legged rag doll for a few rounds of breath here. So interlacing at your hands or your fingers or your elbows, swaying left and right. Lots of inversions here. This is so good for cardiovascular health, uh, blood flow, energy through the body. Head is heavy, legs are strong, spine is long. Slow down your breath, inhale, exhale. Go ahead and release the hands. This time we'll slowly roll all the way back up right to standing and then go ahead and open up into your warrior two towards the front of your mat. Nice. One final time. Inhale, pump the arms and legs up, reach up. Exhale, bend it back down. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend it back down. Good, we have three more of these. Inhale. Exhale, make it strong, right? Use that front quad. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, lower. The last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend it down, warrior two. Flip reverse the front palm. Reach it back, peaceful warrior. Stretch out the right side. Inhale, exhale. Heart pull your way down. Find your plank pose. Nice work. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Mild pose. Good. Open your knees nice and wide. Maybe you need to exalt and breathe out of your mouth and let it go. Coming back home to your breath. have any inverters and you'd like to cool down by doing that. Move in that direction. Explore and play. And if not calming your system back down and just breathing in and out of your nose. lion and cat cows just so that we feel extra good this morning moving into the rest of the day option to flip the fingertips to face the knees and give your forearms more of a stretch hmm. all right and then we'll come into some deep spinal twists so most yogis will be familiar with the thread the needle twists on the floor. When you're ready, left hand goes to the center of the mat. Right arm and wing opens up. Rotate, even over-rotate. See how it feels? Inhale. 
exhale, thread the needle, right? thread the right arm through, landing on the right shoulder, and all the way down to the ground. And then once the right side is stable, the left side can experience more freedom, creative shaping, left arm up, left hand bites. And then notice how the breath is shortened because you're twisted, right? The lungs, the rib cage. So can you break free from that and open up your breathing space a little bit more? It's challenging, it feels really good though. Last breath, enjoy it. Good, and then safely release the leg, left hand down to the mat for support. Reach the right arm back up, counter stretch, and then give me some big swings, big circles of the right arm. Moving through that right shoulder girdle, open and close, change the direction. All right, and then we switch sides. The right hand comes to the center of the mat. Inhale, open the left wing. Open and stretch the chest, make it open. Ooh. Exhale, use it to twist over towards the right, landing safely on the left shoulder. Remember in yoga, we always have two sides. That's what makes our balance, these polar opposites. Something is stable, so the other side is free. Coming out both sides, maybe the right arm comes up towards the sky, right elbow bind, Ugh. or you take a different shape. We hold here for three breaths, but really it's not a hold, you continue to grow and to express, right? The shape and the pose never stops. Each exhale gives you He's never good. Oh. Yeah, he's good too. Oh. I'm taking up that last inch of space because you okay? You can. <laughs> okay. Inhale, no, thank and you. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat. Open your left arm back up to the sky, stretch and reach. Make some big circles. Oh. Breathing in. Changing the direction of the circles. Good. Coming back to your tabletop position. Right. Thank you. Want you double the towel. Steps into a downward facing dog. Okay. This will be the transition just so that we can come to our seat. So find your down dog. Enjoy it. Breath in. Oh, people are itching for it. Breath out. Let's take one more inhale. High plank. High plank pose. Yep. Surprise. Exhale. Low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Push it all the way back. All right. So unless you have injury and you'd like to take pigeon on your back, we're going to move into half pigeon pose. So listen closely. Right leg floats up, three-legged down dog. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Yes. Good, and then your right toes are over towards your left wrist. Now that doesn't have to need to be an exact 90 degree, so if you're like me and you have tight hips, you bring the ankle in a little bit. Now start to square your shoulders. Square the shoulders, square the hips, right? Do a little bit of wiggle work to square off. And then using your fingertips to assist yourself. You can inhale and lengthen your spine. And then exhale, slowly start your journey downwards into your half pigeon pose. And I say journey because it is a journey. It takes the time to get into this position. The first 20 seconds you are working on your alignment. A lot of us tend to sort of fidget and make sure that we're comfortable here. Make sure that you're feeling the stretch in the right glute. back to controlled, slow breath. And this is really where the magic happens in yoga. When we take a pause.
the discomfort of the right glute has probably kicked in. Use your exhales to stay with it. We have three more lengthy breaths. Releasing tension and stress from the body and from the low back. This is where we harbor a lot of our tension in our hips and our glutes and our low back. behind you, you're going to swoop that left leg and bring it around and cross the left foot over top of your right thigh bone. Good, good, good. good. Okay, if this is too much for you, let me show this really quick, if this is too much for you, your right leg will be out long, okay? okay. Spinal twist, we're going to go into a deep twist here. The right hand comes, left hand comes behind you for stability. Inhale, reach the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Get long through the spine. Exhale, use the elbow and hook it to the outside of the thigh. Spinal twist. Yes. Don't be afraid to actually use your elbow. Apply some pressure into the outside of the knee. the spine. Exhale deep in your twist. Good. Two more. Inhale long. Exhale rinse. Last one. Inhale. Crown the head is going taller and higher. Exhale. Twist it up. Good. Okay. From here, you're going to open up over to the right. Take a little push up. Push down. Push up. And then you'll keep rotating towards the back of your mat, downward facing dog. Exactly. Crawl your way to the back. There it is. Shake it out. Squat, swivel. Yep, move the booty around. Move the ankles. Breathing in. Breathing out. All right, when you're ready, left leg floats up. Three-legged down dog. Left knee towards left wrist. Half pigeon pose on this side. Starting to square the hips. You already feel the stretch enter the left glute. Squaring the shoulders, and when you're ready, you lower down. Maybe you just lower to your elbows. Maybe to the palms or all the way to the ground. If you'd like to take this on your back, you're taking your figure four, reclined.
breaths here. Make them count. Long. Make them juicy. Twist here, you'll look behind you, take your right leg, swivel it all the way over to the front. I know these transitions are kind of crazy. <laughs> Cross your right foot over top of your left thigh bone. Yes. And again, you can always extend your left leg out. This time the right hand comes behind you for support. Right? Think of your right arm and your spinal column being one and the same. Nice and long, erect all the way up towards the seat. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, hook and twist. Using the elbow to knee or thigh connection. And then slowly looking over towards your right shoulder. Beautiful. We have three. Inhale, the chest rises. Exhale, deeper the twist. Two more. Last one, inhale. Exhale, really twist it out. Good, and then open up over to the left. Take a little push up, push down. And I want everyone just to swivel towards the front of the mat. Go ahead and open up your legs into a little bit of a straddle. We're going to take this stretch before we come down onto our backs. So I actually have really tight hips, so I'm going to bring my straddle a little closer together. Okay. Flexing or pointing the toes up to you. You will inhale and reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, gently come into a fold, maybe to the palms. The elbows are all the way down to your back. Here, take three slow breaths. together, reach the arms up. We're going to flip the palms to face down and then slowly challenge yourself. Roll the body down, hanging on, holding on with a nice strong core until you get all the way down to your mat. Good. Bring your knees into your chest, look up at the sky and sway left and right. So I've got Alex and shoulder stand here and Elise in cloud pose, bringing the legs down. <laughs> So make sure you're supporting your low back if you're taking those options. If not, you're in waterfall pose, a beautiful restorative pose of blood comes back. You can bend your knees, straighten your legs, open and close, really anything goes here as long as you're supporting yourself. Go ahead and honor three more breaths right here. your way out of it. You'll bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Knees into chest, good. And then we'll all open up into our butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Supta Baddha Konasana, we call it in yoga. In English, reclined butterfly. Yep, feet are bound, knees are apart. Taking a moment to bring your hands to connect into your energy channels. Now your right hand on your belly, left hand on your chest. Right hand into your stomach, your gut. Left hand to your heart space. Relax 
relaxing your eyelids and the muscles in the face and your skin. Taking a full body breath in. And release out. Allowing everything to open up from your center line. We call this the counter pose to life. And I've shared this before, I'll share it again. Everything that we do drives us forward, inwards, downwards. Right? Whether that's work or driving, communicating, even a lot of the work that we do on our bodies that isn't yoga. And that is all good and fine as long as we then counterbalance it by opening everything up through the midline. So allow gravity to take over your body here. The knees keep opening, the hips. And then all together we will inhale to the nose. And take a big cleansing breath out of the mouth. One more like that. Inhale to your nose. Let me hear it. A loud roar out of the mouth. Knowing that you can come back to this place at any point in time. Center, brown. Promote your breath through the body and connect with yourself. When you're ready, you can bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a final hug of the class. <clears throat> bring your forehead up towards your kneecaps. Try to kiss both knees and say thank you to your body. And then you will enter Shavasana by laying all the way out. <clears throat> Exactly. <sighs> Spine is relaxed. Arms and legs away from you. You have a minute of pure rest here. Relaxing the head and the shoulders and the hands. Relaxing the hips, the knees, and the ankles. body becomes really heavy as the breath lightens up. Shavasana, corpse pose. Letting things rid and cleanse out of the body that we no longer need anymore. Tranquility run through the top, all the way out through the bottom.
gently coming back, bringing more awareness into your being and your body. You're twinkling the toes, the fingertips, letting the head roll right and left, massaging the back of the skull and the neck. Taking a big breath in your nose, black out of your mouth. Slowly stretching your arms overhead, get really long through the body. Point the toes downwards, bring the legs a little closer together to touch. Bringing your knees into your chest, give yourself one more loving squeeze of acknowledgement. Thank you to this body for moving and working for you in this way. And gently making your way to a seated position, you can roll over and pause in your fetal pose. Coming to a comfortable seat. Oh, you cue the sun. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then all together, let's inhale and reach those arms back up to the sky. Next, open your hands into your heart center and we'll close. Gently bowing inwards. Let's all take a collective breath in. Big breath out. This breath is for you for showing up on a day like today and practicing giving your bodies love. This next breath is for each other. Inhale. Exhale. Really good energy and peace. Let's share that with the rest of Miami and the world. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. I hope that you take a little bit of what you uh, experienced here today into your holiday season. I know this time can be really stressful with logistics and planning and everything. So whatever you need, a moment, hop on your mat, breathe. It doesn't have to be a full session. Right? Just take a moment to pause and be with yourself. Thank you so much for joining us. If this was, thank you. If this was uh, a class that you've been coming to for the year, we've been running this program since September. Uh, the game definitely affected the turnout, but you guys are amazing for showing up. Enjoy the farmer's market and the rest of your day. It's a donation-based class. If you'd like to donate, uh, come talk to me after. And uh, follow us on Instagram and all of that good stuff. We will not be here on Christmas. And look out for 2023 schedule. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! All the good energy. Is it looking? You want me to stay here? Okay, it's, a, it's recording. Hey guys, I pray that this um, brought some joy to the ending of your year. Uh, if you watched it at the beginning of the new year, God bless you the same. Oh my God, this thing is sticking to my hair. Um, I put this product on my edges. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god now I'm, I got more white stuff on my head okay guys I'm supposed to be ending the yoga sequence right now with you guys uh, I'll take you around to see the uh, what is it called the yeah what is it called babe? Farmers market. the farmers market and I bid you guys adieu I'm going to do um, some reels and stuff oh my god Jesus <laughs> I'm gonna do some reels for this outfit that I have. I'm just gonna switch up the shoes. I made you oh I may just prop up the camera. <laughs> All right, guys, just keep watching. Stay for the glow up. <laughs> Okay, good. Let's get to this farmer's market 16%. So as I was saying, guys, this is going to be quick. We just wanted to display some positive vibrations. I feel like food is the highest form of vibration right now because what you put into your body is how your body is going to respond to you. So it's not just moving your body, doing exercises, uh, especially if you have any bad habits. If you smoke, if you drink, look at a plane. It's like, shut up, right? So this is dill. This looks like dill. It smells delicious. I'm in time if I'm not if I'm not wrong. And this looks like fresh green onion. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Go, go pan in close. These are the things that are super important for health. These are diuretics. These are also, especially when you get peppers, my God. Um, this reminds me of Mark Weens. Hi, Mark Weens. I hope one day you become a subscriber of mine because I absolutely love your videos. And that's on Pusha P. Um, I have my in-law, she loves making pumpkin soup or anything pumpkin. She buys pumpkin for the baby, puts it in her blender. So and when everybody's telling me, hey, your baby's so beautiful. Listen, it's a, it's a, group, it's a group thing. Okay. I know, right? They look good. If you see something for your mom, especially being around that lady right now. Yeah, my mom is good. I'm actually looking at the mushrooms and thinking I could use them to cook. Yeah. Do you want to? Okay. Thank you so much. So here we go. Ooh, real banana. Ooh, the avocado look good. We may have to get that big one on the way out, and that's on Pusha P. Hi, how you doing? You're get your fun crops. Oh, whatever those are. Thank you, so you're right. Fun. Something, I saw a, a lady in the kiosk in the middle of the mall, and she designed it, loved it. So thank you. And you smell good, goodness. You're welcome. Okay, love this bag, oh my God. I am in love. Uh, I don't want to touch it. I want you to. I love this. Thank you. Yes, it's from Columbia, so it's all handmade. Okay, and I see the colors. Yes. How much is this bag? Thank you so much. That is really nice. Uh huh. Can I? Let me see the weight on it. Ooh. Yeah, it weighs nothing. Ooh. No, it has weight. It's good. It has weight to it. So if I put my phone in there, I don't have to worry about the bottom collapsing. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. So Thank you these so are like desserts from Colombia as well? Um, a little bit of everything from South America, but we have like our passion fruit mousse, key lime mousse, tres leche cakes, alfajores from Argentina, cocas from Colombia. So it's pretty much all like South American pastry. And is this coconut? Yes. Yeah, feel free to try. It's a fresh shred of coconut with a little bit of sweet condensed. Thank you. It's a little bit on the sweeter side, but. Babe, I want. Like, put it in your mouth. Like Hold on a second. You gotta take it. It's our anniversary, so I'm just. Oh, beautiful. Let's. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? How long do you think? I think we act how long we've been together. How long do you I think? I think like maybe ten years. Uh, okay, years. it feels like it, but it's seven. Okay, cool. Yeah. We've been yeah. Together for nine years. Now, today's our seven point eight anniversary. Mm -hmm. Well, congrats, guys. That's mm. I want to get this one. It's good, right? I want to get it for his mom. They're good for gifts too. They last them about two weeks, so I'll package it up for you in a little time. Do you have like something? This is a coconut. Yes. I'm gonna get this for my mom. But do your your mom want this one or? I feel like this one's better. Am I wrong? Like for gifts. Yeah, I think they're both good. Depends on like your sweet okay. taste, but like this one is good to like have. Okay. Will break it up, and then this is just like people eat it so fast because it's so good. So then let's package them separately. Okay. okay perfect. On this video, listen. I only I didn't know who wanted what. I just went all God did this. Okay. <laughs> it's meant to be this way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, look at this, this necklace. <gasps> and the claw clip. And you do the vases and candles too. I do, I do, I do my arm property and then I have the candles as well. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I love when people all like, compliment it. Whatever you want, cash, okay, yeah, everything works. I'm gonna throw this one in here and then a little spoon. I don't know if you're gonna. Yes, if you're gonna post, feel free to tag me. I love that. This is it, right? Yes, cash, okay, yeah, everything. Okay. I love every single earring. My husband is about to, he's running in his brain right now. <laughs> I'm think, I think I'm gonna end it here because I think that I want a pair of earrings. I'm scared to keep going. <laughs> yeah, he's scared too. Um, he's so smart. Let's see. Ben, can I get a pair of earrings? 
Yes, tell me everything. Those are cute. I know. We met on um, July 8, 2013 at 241 in the afternoon. Okay, interesting. Cool. Where did you guys meet? Um, at the mall. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you can't see me, right? Shopping. <laughs> How's that? Thank you. I know, right? Is this a marchmallow? Yes, did you plan this? But the chocolate it just happened to be that way. With, uh, Which one? This one or this one? I'm gonna share it with him. It's a uh, chocolate. And this is chocolate too? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, you, guys, this is crazy. Would you like to know? So, so that's like you put it in milk and it's like oh. a chocolate, like a hot chocolate with, with marshmallow. Thank you for explaining it. So we'll do this when we get home. I was going to eat it in the car, but. Eat the mousse. He got a mousse. That you can have in the car. It's delicious. Oh, he's smart. Like, okay. So here's the, here's the interesting thing about Don't forget this one. Thank you. Yeah. So, another bag. We get married on December 8th. For Christmas. Yeah. Ooh. Then we have Christmas. I know. So it's like and celebration after celebration. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and, he's broke. And, and would you would you like to know why we're like, yeah, I'm gonna try and grab her and run before we get further in? Yeah. Her birthday three days after Christmas. It's my birthday. Yeah. And so then, you're like non-stop gifts. You're yeah. like, give me everything. Yes, <laughs> How are you? I, I'm non-stop. How you doing? I just want to see. I know you're smart. I love it. Okay. That's actually, so Thank funny, you. guys. I want to put his his order and this one in the same bag. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'll do that one for you. Thank you so much. And then even the necklace in there too. Those are earrings, right? I mean, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. If you had the necklace to match, no, spot. Don't. So. I think someone already took it. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. <laughs> They were here earlier, right? Yes. We were doing were. yoga like fools. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, nice. How was that? It was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wait, baby. Come on. Oh, shucks. About to choke my baby. It's going to be 54 for everything. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm going to eat that. Yeah, no worries at all. I'm going to package this up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out. I'm going to stop right here. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I can't spend no money. This man money. I love you guys. Here you go. These are her links. How do we spread love? We spread love by supporting people. God bless you. And you heard her. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. I love it. Thank you guys.